Hi, I'm Jade with Touch of Paint by JPC, and I had a lot of requests for me to show how I do the ombre effect. So, it's the first time I've ever done anything like this, so it's kind of fun. Um, we started by painting this dresser all white, base coat white. This is a simple two toned ombre effect that we did. Usually, we do three, two to three colors, um, sometimes four, but this is just for kind of beginners who want to learn how to do the ombre effect. So we're going to do the side and then we'll do a time lapse afterwards. So this is how it says. Oh, <laughs> um, I love Waverly paint. So I'm using Waverly ballet slipper for the pink and we're really white. They just blend really well, and um, just a normal chalk chalk brush. And these are some new brushes my friend gave me. Zebra, really nice, really nice. So. And the other brushes are from Lowe's. <laughs> so I start by doing the very bottom in the solid. Depending on how high you want to go up. And then, I think that's about how high I want to go up with the darker. And then I take my, this one is a little bit wet. So I like to use a dry, a dry older paintbrush because then if you don't, then this will, this will just get really short really fast if you do the dry brushing with um, a new one. So I usually take an older one and I hope that this color doesn't transfer. But I take um, the pink. This is, is this one this one's so damp. This one. And then I take the pink. And I try to get some of that. So it's not much on the brush. Some more of the white. I'm pretty. 
pretty sure she's going to want it a little bit higher. I just know that, um, I just know that it's better to start low and then, and then if you want to add more paint and get higher, then you can. And then this one is a little damp. So after I've done the pink and the white, then this, I'm gonna go back over it. And then at this point, I would say, let it dry for a little bit. I shouldn't be letting it dry. What happens if you don't let it dry? It kind of, um, it kind of gets overworked and it doesn't look as, nice and smooth as you would want it to. Add a little more. rest of it and then once this is dried a little bit um I will take this brush I may do it now just so I can show you um take this brush and then come from the top and just blend in That looks pretty nice. It's looking beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. And I just kind of go back and forth and, and but yeah, definitely let it dry so you don't overwork it like I'm doing right now. But once it dries, I'll take a picture and you can see. It's your first video, we'll cut you some slack. <laughs> so happy to meet you all and um, we'll do a time lapse and everything else, but I think that's a pretty good ombre and if you have any questions, leave it in the comments and I'd be happy to answer them. Thank you.